So this is the Wen Oscillating Belt and Spindle Sander, model 6523. And what you see here is what you get out of the box. Uh, to go through the parts, you get your oscillating belt, which is the key, the key feature of this device over other devices. You get one roll of sandpaper for approximately two inches. I'm not sure exactly what size, let's call this inch and a half. Spindle, one inch spindle. Don't quote me on that because I don't know what the specs are. This looks like half inch. And this is probably half inch. So I'm probably off by all that. You get a cover uh, for when you're using the spindles versus the belt. You get a tool for tightening down the spindles with three washers uh, for the spindles. And while I'm going through this, I'm going to put them in the places that I've found that they make sense. I'm going to put them away. So they have, basically everything can be stored on here except for one thing I haven't found a, a home for yet. Um, the interesting thing about the way it's packaged is this nut, which is to bolt the spindles down, is actually included with the hand nut for the belt. And that took me a while to figure out. I'm going to put that back here and I'll show that later. Uh, I'm going to put this away for now. Okay, each one of these guys has a little home, which is kind of cool. There's no home for um, excess paper, but hey, at least they got a home for that. And there's homes for each one of these guys. On the side, and then on this side. Ohms. And if you're using the belt, this sits in the back here, snaps in. And as far as I can tell, I'm putting that there. I don't know where it's supposed to go, but it fits. So to start with the belt, I'll drop the belt on. And what they don't tell you is that you don't put the that cover plate in. And that was something that confused me a little bit when I first tried this. I'm going to pull the nut and washer back out of its home where I put it. Here's my magnet. And basically we throw the belt on. Finger tighten this guy. And we are good to go. Now one thing that's not really clear, so to, to remove a belt, really easy. You just throw this lever, tension lever, back, throw a belt on. That's even easier than my, my hand belt sander. Now we just threw a new belt on. I'm going to tweak the, this is not documented very well. So I just loosened up the tracking. What's going to happen is you're going to see the belt walk. And I'm going to shut it down before it walks too far. So if I over tighten this, now it's going to walk up. Why I point that out is the tracking isn't 
to me wasn't very intuitive reading the manual. Basically, you loosen it uh, to walk up, tighten it to walk down, and I thought at one point you just loosen this and it would slide it over, kind of more manual. This is actually pretty easy. Uh, <laughs> So that's something to be aware of. It's This is pretty much worthless in my mind. So we'll pull that guy off and we'll put a spindle on. Grab the cover plate. This does fit back here. It doesn't really, it, it, it sits back here, it's not really, it doesn't really snap in as far as I've been able to figure out. Now with the spindle, I'm going to remove the uh, work stop, or the, the stop itself. I wish this was a bigger, easier to use thumb knob kind of thing, but you probably don't remove it very often. This is a two mi uh, about two millimeter gauge steel, 2.2 with the paint. So let's say it's two. Uh, it's pretty. It, this is pretty rock solid, and it is keyed. So when you snap it in. Even though it only has one uh, bolt connection, it's with that. It's it's got to work against this plastic. It it's not going to go anywhere. As as opposed to my uh, Harbor Freight uh, belt sander here that had a stop that I had removed because it was kind of worthless and just like this guy, it it's so cantilevered out. This is, this is pretty solid. It's not going to go anywhere. I don't know when you remove this, where you put it. I'll figure that out at some point. Someone can probably tell me. Uh, we drop the cover plate in. We'll grab the one roller that I've been using, just because I've been using it. Slide it down. Now, you have your three corresponding washers. Grab the washer that matches the spindle diameter and your nut, which I can't get out of it. I can't get out of where I put it without a magnet because it I don't know, someone can tell me where you're supposed to put this. I don't understand why you use a nut here with a tool over just a finger nut and I would love for someone you know to tell me what I'm missing here and why I'm not torquing this down anymore I mean th this is let's say five six inches so you know relative pounds of torque inch pounds versus half foot pounds um, I don't understand to me it's one more level of complication but I'm sure there's someone out there that knows. Let me fire it up. There was a, uh, a slight electrical smell um, that I got when I first fired it up, which seems to be something native to Chinese products. Um, they all seem to do it. I don't know where it comes from, but it's like they have a burn-in period like the old cars did. Uh, but there is a... a vacuum port here. I don't have anything attached to it. I would guess, looking at how stuff is, uh, that I would guess that that's fairly effective. 
Um, I'm not going to show you that because I just am not. <laughs> is that this whole table does bevel, which I didn't realize at first. I'm going to rotate the whole thing around towards the camera. I'm going to put my, laser, my, uh, my digital level on here. I already had teared it out. That's why it's showing zero if you can read it. Um, and I'll just show you what this shows uh, as we tilt the, the table down. So I'm going to loosen both sides. It's 15 degrees, 22 and a half degrees, 30 degrees, and 45. So I'm going to go to 15. And there is a, there is a little snap. There is a, a spring. It's pretty weak. It's, an, it's not like your, your, your miter saw that has like a good solid notch. But at 15, I read 14.6 at 22 and a half I read 21.2 at 30 I read 29.1 at 45 read 43.9 make sure I'm in there yeah so from sanding perspective you know it's 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 locked in I mean it, it, you know, it's not gonna you're not doing precision work when you're sanding, but when you miscut your miter and you got a cheap miter saw like I used to, and you want to correct it, at least you're going to be closer than my miter saw was. Um, that's about it. That's everything I can think of. It's got four holes to anchor it down to a table, which is, out of all the things in the instruction manual, the first thing they tell you is to bolt it to a table, which is the last thing anyone is going to do. Um, nothing I have is bolted to a table because then I'm locked into being bolted to my table. Um, but that's it. Uh, seems like a pretty good device. I mean, the, the, the top is plastic. Uh, as far as I can tell, this is just a finger hole. I have no clue what the rest of these holes are for. Um, but I'm thinking that this is just a, a way to pick it up. You, you drop it in a little bit at an angle. Um, kind of like a, a table saws. Uh, um, I can't think of the name of it. But anyway, drop it in. Um, So there it is. Tell me what you think of my review and, and uh, what I could do better. Don't want to waste any time. So that's the device. This is worthless. Just understand the key thing is the way that you get two bags. And one bag contains the tools for the spindles. But, and the other bag contains the tools for the belt, but this nut is included in tools for the belt, at least in my bag. So, that's, it really confused me, I, and, and they don't tell you where to put it. So, hopefully that helps someone out, and uh, enjoy. Make some uh, sawdust.